Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens and I buy old records. I also show off records, I talk about records, and today we're going to do a little bit of record dewarping. Don't know how it's going to turn out. It's hit or miss with 45s using this method. I've never destroyed one, but usually I err on the side of caution and I don't really want to overdo it. Anyway, we'll get to that. I've got a 45 record. Imagine that. It's fairly scarce. It's uh, Singing Heart and Falling Tears by the Delicades. That's out of Corpus Christi. Fairly rare record. Hard one anyway. Let's play it. As you can see, this one's got pretty good warping going on. He's singing about his ding dong. Okay. It will play, but it's like a roller coaster in it. I like this side better. Okay, so you see it does play, but it's a mess. Otherwise, it's in really nice shape. So I've got this gizmo here. It is the vinyl flat, made locally, maybe about 40 miles away, if that. And uh, it's a couple of real heavy metal plates, and you put your, uh, I always put a piece of paper here for it. But anyway, you put your record in, get it centered, put your little old groovy ring thingies, they call it there. Center that, get it all lined up. And you'll pop this in the oven. It does come with a uh, sort of uh, a bag you could plug in, mine doesn't, but the bag heats up and gets to the right temperature. I've heard good and bad about that. So I think in the first bit, it was a little bit hit or miss as well. But I've heard people have had good results. So I may end up buying one of those bags. Anyway, I want to take this record. You saw it didn't play so well. It did track, but come on. I want to try to move, move this thing. Oh. Turkey drumsticks and some Argentine style empanadas. It's a good day. So I've got the oven preheated to 150. That's as low as it'll go. Normally uh, 135, 140 is the best temperature. We're okay with this. So I'm going to set the uh, time because we're cooking this bad boy to uh, one hour. and hopefully I'll be in the county when that thing goes off. Forgetting is a bad thing. And we'll make sure that's torqued down enough. And now we're just going to leave it alone for an hour. Then I'm going to pull it, let it cool, and we'll check the results then. Maybe it's great. Maybe I've destroyed it. But maybe, I don't know, just maybe. See you in an hour, maybe about two hours. All right, the lovely Polly and I are going to see about the fruits of my labors today. And uh, we're going to free the record of its vinyl flat and see what happened there. Maybe it'll come out good. Sometimes I have to run them through two or three cycles though. Oh my, that flattened out pretty good. But I do see some heat damage. That does happen, unfortunately, sometimes certain kind of uh, uh, warps. So let's run outside, throw that on the machine, and let's see how it works. But it did flatten it, that's for sure. Okay, so I flipped back over to LP needle. Doesn't do the uh, 45s any good unless they're on sun to play them at 78s. We'll talk about that, about playing your 45 early sun records with 78 needle. It's important. And uh, as you can see, 
Record's flat. Oh my, let's play it. So far so good, I don't hear any. Yeah, took out about 98, 99% of that thing. Let's play the flip side. Sometimes one side will hiss and the other won't. My heart goes ding, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, Play it a little further inland. Well, son of a gun, I'd call that success. Yes, I would. In fact, let's put that one down in a win. Sometimes they work out, sometimes not so much, but the Delicades are now singing again properly on a J.W. Fox Records out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Robert Flores, looks like he wrote them both, probably was the lead singer. Wonder what happened to him. Okay, I'm happy as a clam. Don't know why people say that, but I am. So uh, I buy old records. I'll see you later. Don't do anything bad that you'll regret. Stay indoors. Wash your hands, etc., etc. Love y'all. Long time.